All right. In today's lab, we want to determine the density of an unknown object, specifically the density of an irregular object. What I have here is I have a irregular shaped object, a battery. First thing I have to do is determine the mass, so I'm going to come over here and use my balances to determine its mass. Ah, they've torn our lab apart, by the way, because they're waxing. I'm not supposed to be in here. Shh, don't tell anybody. And then I'm going to go post this on YouTube, but at any rate. Um, all right. We've got our balance. We've got it teared. Place my battery in there. And I get 29.2798. 29, whoops. 29.2803. 29 29.2803. 29 so... Whoa, 29.2803 grams is my mass. See, mass 20, whoops, I can't see my 9. 29.2803. Now I need to figure out its volume. We're doing volume by water displacement. This is going to work strictly only with objects that are heavier than water. We can modify it for, I mean, things that are denser than water. We can modify it for things that are less dense than water via Archimedes' principle, but we'll leave that discussion to the physicists. The first thing I need is I need a me measure of the volume of water in my graduated cylinder. Now, I've colored my water red, just like the cards painted the roses red so the queen didn't take off their head. Um, I've added some food coloring just to make it easier to see. Let me clean things up here a little bit. Do, 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 do. All right. This is a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. It's calibrated, you'll notice, to the nearest milliliter. We can estimate one more sig fig. We can estimate that it's a little bit between, um, shoot, my meniscus is basically right on it there. Darn it. Uh, we can estimate one more sig fig. I'm going to pour a little bit of water out here. Sorry about the condition of the lab. They're waxing, so they've got everything up there. Jeez, what is it with me in perfect pouring? There it goes right on the meniscus again. All right. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. So let's look at my water level. My water level... See the meniscus or the top of my solution... It's more than 30, but less than 31. So I can estimate the difference between those. It's hard to tell in the video, but I'm going to say it's about 6 tenths of the way to the 30. So I'm going to say that that is, I mean, to the 31. So I'm going to say that that's 30.6 milliliters. So I can estimate one more sig fig than my instrument, than my graduate cylinder is cal calibrated for. So everything in your lab, in terms of volume, should have at least three sig figs for your volume readings in your graduated cylinder here. So I've got the volume of my water as 30.6 milliliters. Now I've got the volume of my water plus object is what I want to measure next. So I'm going to take my battery which I left on my balance, which is just rude because that means other people can't be using it while well, I'm taking my measurements, but ain't right. I'm going to take my battery and I'm going to place it gently and carefully so not to splash everything into my graduated cylinder. And that was way too much splashing. Um, I should probably start over again because I probably lost some of my water. Now I've got a new volume. This time my volume is 35, 36, 37. It's not quite to the 38. The line's a little bit lower than the 30, 38. You can't really see it that well on the, on the um, video here because I'm using an iPhone. Um, so I'm going to say it's 37.9. thirty seven point nine milliliters so what's the volume of my object the volume of my object 
is going to be the difference between my two volume readings here. So I'm going to take 37.9 milliliters. I'm going to subtract 30.6 milliliters. That 7.3 milliliters is the volume of my object. And that's two sig figs, right, after we subtract. So now to calculate my density, oh, by the way, write down the word HCl or write down the word hydrochloric acid. Everybody write down the word hydrochloric acid. Write down the word hydrochloric acid. But anyway, we've got mass, 29.2803 grams. Notice I did not, I used all the sig figs my balance gave me. I'm going to let my calculations destroy my sig figs, not sloppy lab recording. Divide the number on top, divide mass divided by volume, so I'm going to take that into my calculator, punch it in, 29.2803. 